This is Paris, the most beautiful city in the world. It has an Eiffel Tower. It has beautiful architecture. It has beautiful people. Welcome to Paris! But what if I told you that this Paris is entirely fake? Yes, fake. Because what you're looking at is called the city of Tianduqing. It's a city in China that's 6,000 miles away from the real Paris. Because someone in China decided to copy Paris detail for detail with the same Eiffel Tower, same French buildings, same streets, same fountains, and even the same statues. This is the fake city of Paris. It is one of China's most interesting projects, and it's not even the only one. There are tens of cities in the heart of China that look like the heart of Europe and America. It is duplicated architecture, or as they call it, duplitecture. See, years ago, Chinese architects traveled all the way to Europe and studied the cities they wanted to duplicate and recreated them down to the last detail. From the pavements, to the street names, to the bridges, the apartments, the phone boxes, they are all almost exactly the same as those you would find in Europe. Now, before you judge, you should remember that in China, copying is not always a bad thing. It's a way to appreciate the original. And the Chinese are not the only one. Many countries have copied European landmarks before, like the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas or Big Ben in India. But in China, they took this appreciation to the next level. In China, there is a town that looks like London, where you can use a London phone booth and see the famous London Bridge. There is another town that looks like Holland, and another town that looks like Deutschland. Welcome to China. Welcome to China. Welcome to China. When Aline and I visited Paris, it felt like the real deal. It felt romantic. Except here, the prices were much cheaper. Souvenirs can be as little as 30% of the original price in Paris. And the food was also cheaper. Instead of eating baguettes, in China's Paris, you eat noodles. Instead of drinking wine, in China's Paris, you drink tea. But the biggest difference between these two cities is the traffic. Europe is full of people while China Europe is still empty. The streets are not that busy because there aren't many people living there. The hope behind this project was to attract hundreds of thousands of Chinese people to call this home. But because of the cost and the location and the architecture differences, the average Chinese person could not afford this. No one lives there. This is an office building. Nobody lives there? Yes. That's why some European city projects failed. Developments had to stop and the city became a ghost city. But for us, that didn't matter. If you look at the bright side, in the world, there is a second Paris. You can visit the second Paris. You can take pictures, throw a Parisian wedding, or have a romantic picnic without worrying about the traffic or the cost. Welcome to Huawei's campus. Disneyland,拥有欧洲式小火车,一望无际的欧洲城堡,庄园,还有喷泉,各式古色古香西方建筑,乍看之下让人以为来到欧洲主题乐园,但这都是中国华为集团砸下巨资新建的人工欧洲
，不止吃得好，工作环境舒服。六万名员工的反欧洲小镇，宛如一个经济体。